there, my name is Vila Beckin, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Doing Blu-ray DVD giveaways for the next uh, month and a half, or two months, while well, the new series of Doctor Who's running. Next one I'm giving away is Doctor Who, the specials. David Tennant uh, has uh, next Doctor. Fantastic. Well, I think that's one of my favourites. So, uh, yeah, one of my favourites. I, I like the christmas -y stuff. Uh, Planet of the Dead, Waters of Mars, End of Time 1 and 2. Tons of extras. All you need to do to win it is subscribe to the channel and leave the hashtag BowieBase1. I will put it in the uh, the show notes. Not the show notes, the video notes. Um, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. Uh, uh, and then, I do, oh, and then we... And then we do the drawing on Sunday on the TARDIS. So, so we always have something happy to talk about that. Okay, and uh, this video is about Doctor Who ratings, but if you're following my channel, just a little bit of personal Svee news. I, I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in a lot of trouble. I'm in the doghouse. I've been a naughty boy. If you saw my video a couple of days ago, I, I mentioned uh, at synagogue the, 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 the Sabbath, I uh, when, which is when everybody freaking goes there, okay? And, like, nobody uses phones or stuff in an orthodox synagogue on, on Sabbath. So I was just paying attention. I, uh, I got up. And I valiantly denounced uh, our shul rabbi <laughs> quite, quite uh, uh, viscerally because I uh, really disagreed with something. Really, really disagreed. But I was very rude. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't. Okay. No, let's get this straight. I wasn't very rude in like terms of like being very rude to somebody. I was very rude to a rabbi, which uh, uh, is a bit of a no-no. And I'm, I, I'm in dog, so I'm in the doghouse. I am going to have to go forth and publicly apologize. <laughs> so, yeah, that. That's where Svi is right now. I'll let you know as the drama unfolds what, what happens next. So the drama unfolding that I wanted to talk about, however, is the Doctor Who ratings. And I am, uh, I, I think I'm one of the few people who will admit to being really unhappy with this rating. You know, I was really hoping it was going to be much lower than it was. Um, I think we may be hitting a the the bottom ceiling, the, bo you know, the floor for Doctor Who uh, viewership. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I think we're about half a million out. I reckon it can't go, it, it's slowing down. So, okay, so let's let's look at the numbers. The first episode got an overnight of 4.88 million. Then the second episode got an overnight of 4.6 million. That's like a 280,000 drop. Then the third episode got an overnight of 4.19. That's a much bigger drop. That's uh, 410,000, uh, 401,000, 401,000 drop. Uh, and and then tonight, uh, then this week's episode got four oh four. So I was hoping because episode three, the um, what, Orphan fifty five. Trying to remember what the name of that stupid episode was. The episode three was so awful. I was hoping that it would have a bigger drop than between two and three, which was yeah, four hundred thousand. I was hoping they're going to have like a six hundred thousand drop, which would have brought it down to three point six. And I'm wrong. Egg all over my face. They got it. They got a. Over four, which I'm surprised they got four hundred four point oh four million, which uh, which is more than I thought. So uh, yeah, well, well done, Doctor Who. But so the amount they're losing viewers is uh, uh, decreasing exponentially. It's decreasing now. Um, although the amount the, the the amount they get with time shifting has also really really f fallen. Uh, we have the first week uh, they got. 4.88 went up to 6.7. So that's like, yeah, that's what, a 2.9 bump. And then with the, the four screen, I'm not even sure what that is, they, that, they got up to uh, 6.89. So, okay, so they got about two, 2 million bump the first week uh, from watching on iPlayer. Then the next week they got, a for the seven day, a 1.3 bump. Uh, and added on, on to that, 1.3. 1.47. Yeah, like a 1.47 bump. So it went from 2 million bump to a 1.47 bump. <coughs> and then the next week they went, uh, next week looks, it looks, it looks much worse. They had just over a million uh, for the the seven night. Uh, but re this is really uh, really quite shocking. shocking. They had under 1.2 million bumps. So it went from a 2 million to 1.5 to 1.2. So what will it be? What will be the uh, the rate for the the rest of the for the uh, for the, the rest of these uh, ratings that we haven't got yet? Um, good question. Good question. Because I said the 
the the the the people they they're losing people at a lower rate now. So they lost was it? Uh, they only lost about one point five. They lost one hundred fifty thousand, which is about half of what they lost before. Fine. So that being the the being the case, they probably they put they will probably get uh like a one like if they get a one they, if they keep this rate they will probably get a one million bump. So we are going down, but what is the what is the lower ceiling? Yeah, what is the what is the bottom? What is the basement for the uh, uh, the ratings? Now the lowest it ever got was Capaldi was two point eight nine. Now was there anything else going? That was the Eater of the Light, which wasn't the greatest episode. It just came off the what, what, uh, the Monk three part trilogy, which I quite like. But look, in general, Capaldi was not. Uh, popular with the normie audience. That's just that's just the reality. Now I loved him a lot. You know, I think his performance was one of the greatest performances we've ever seen as a Doctor. And like whenever I want to watch Doctor Who, I often go for Capaldi because I feel like I feel like I'm watching the fourth and the fifth, the third and the fourth Doctor. You know, there's a, there's a nice amalgam of both of them. Um, so, uh, but yeah, he was not he was not well liked by by the general audience. So I, yeah, it seems to me. That a young, attractive man is the way to go to attract that that mainstream audience. You know, you got the yeah. It, right now we have like the Jody haters, which I I guess I'm yeah I'm hundred percent behind because I just can't stand what they're doing with this character. I just cannot stand it. Um, or this show, it's just so dumb. Oh my god, watch watch my 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 recap. It's so it like it's just it's so painful to watch this bloody show now and like to plunge through uh, plow through it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, yeah, I think if they went for, you know, I think they need to, to, if the revival rating, a young, attractive, charismatic man with a not agenda driven story. So I think that's really what I think the data's screaming out at them that, that, that would, that would do the trick. Yeah, but both Matt Smith and da uh, David Tennant, but you know, they both resonated well. Before before we finish, let's have a quick look at the AI, which was shockingly bad for um, Orphan, Orphan Fifty One. They they got an eighty two and an eighty two for the uh, uh, the Master uh, Two Parter. What was it called? A Spyfall. Um, which okay, fair enough. But then they went all the way down to seventy seven for the AI. AI is uh, audience appreciation, I think, appreciation index. Now a good AI is eighty five and above. Uh, we I don't think Joda's ever ever managed that. Now let me go look at her ratings. Uh, yeah, highest highest AI she's got is eighty three. So she's got eighty two, eighty two, and then she got a seventy seven for all of them fifty five. Seventy seven, freaking awful. Uh, seventy seven is bad. So the last time they got a AI that low was Love and Monsters in season two. Now I, I think I really like Love and Monsters, but boy, people hated that episode. You know, look, honestly, you you put uh, what was it Moaning Myrtle? Uh, take Moaning Myrtle and turn her into a a uh, uh, a paving slab. That that's that's pretty open to you know a physical relationship with with uh, with the characters. I thought. Yeah, you had that in. I'm probably on board. I quite I like the absorb of. I kind of liked everything about it, but people freaking hated it. So the only time it got uh, so that's what uh, that'll be 2006, and we're 2020 now. So uh, it's 14 years. Lowest AI in 40 years. Uh, and the uh, and the, before uh, before Love and Monsters, the that got 76. I believe Rose and um, uh, what's the second episode? Uh, end of the um, the end of the world. Rose in the world got like a seventy six or a seventy seven. But you know there was there wasn't like yeah Doctor Who and television uh, watching in general works upon expectations. You know what people see what they expect to see. So when Doctor Who came back, they had to really change those expectations because they expect to see it look cheap. You know cheap wobbly sets, which is something that never really happened in Doctor Who. There's like. Yeah, in this you had nothing out out the ordinary wobbly sets. You know, uh, most I could think of was you saw a stagehand's hand once in um, uh, Pyramids of Mars. But yeah, I'm sure there's some other stuff as well. As well, as well. But they had that perception; people expected to see it. So that's how well they had to um, 
uh, they had to uh, come off against. You know, so my real fear about the Jodie Whittaker era is they're gonna is gonna be uh, people are gonna think that the Doctor Who is just a show they don't like. It's a show that's boring. Uh, and certainly, this week's episode was boring. I fell asleep like all the time. I had to watch it three times to get notes so I can write it. I just found it dull. Uh, I, I, but yeah, once you take out the preachiness of it, that's all they really got. It was just dull. And um, yes, the characters are unengaging. I can't imagine the AI for. Um, what was this episode called? Uh, not more than 55. This, oh, Nikola, Nikola, Te- Nikola Tesla's Night of Terror. What a terrible name. Uh, I reckon it'll be pretty high. I've probably put about 79, 80, 80. I, I can't see it going above eight, uh, 81, 82. Um, but, you know, I think that was a bit of a blip. So let's say these ratings calm down. I, I reckon we're going to get to, by the end of the season, we've got five, we've got six episodes left. Are they going to keep losing or are they going to bottom, bottom out, you think? I think they're going to keep losing, uh, but at a slower rate and be down to around three million by episode 10. I, I, I'm hoping it goes beyond uh, under three million. I'm really hoping it goes beyond uh, below in the Eaters of Light. So they, so we can say, oh, look at that. <laughs> now this was the worst rate one ever. Certainly, the uh, even with the 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 time shifted and full screen, uh, the season average is the lowest the uh, lowest ever, I believe. But I guess we'll find out in like six weeks when when we when we can really do uh, do the math. But then it doesn't make a difference because the people who like Jodie Whittaker, the people who like this, uh, will still say it's popular. No matter what, they will never say it's not popular, even though it's not popular. You know, Capaldi also wasn't popular. Uh, but what do you think? You know, look, if you think this, uh, 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 this has been a successful run, Doctor, let me know. You know, I really want to hear from your point of view. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I, you know, I never will not, uh, um, I will never be angrily respond at, at like a sparking page. And if you want, want, uh, want to come on a video with me, dude, just get in contact. I would love to do that video where we can have like a debate about these things. And then, yeah, we, well, yeah, just all I'm saying is it's, it, it's nice to talk. We all love Doctor Who. We, that's really the bottom line. We all love Doctor Who. Uh, we just have different opinions about what do- what good Doctor Who is. I hate this version of Doctor Who, but I love Doctor Who. My name is Fila Beckett, the rabbi from another planet. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget the hashtag uh, BowieBase1. And uh, thank you for listening. Have a fantastic day.